Hello, period one and period three IB English students. Welcome to week two, day one. This video is designed for students who miss our live Zoom class. Um, if, and just to be sure, um, there is a separate video for the period eight class. So if you are in period eight, you should not be watching this video. You should be watching the other one. And just wanted to make sure that I noted that. All right, let's get into what we're doing. So as a reminder, everything that you do is recorded, including the responses that I'll be asking for in this video. So please make sure to comport yourself accordingly, uh, all that stuff. A quick review of this week's schedule, right? Because we had the holiday on Monday, there is no virtual check-in this week. Instead, that A day that should have been on Monday gets shifted into that spot. So um, it's you know B day, then A, then A again, and then B day. Just want to kind of bring that to your attention again, just in case. All right, so our agenda for today. I wanted to review the internal assessment with you and your choices for that assignment, uh, as well as uh, during class, I just gave students time to work on the syllabus quiz, which most people had finished, but some people maybe didn't, um, and or work on their summer reading. <clears throat> just a quick note, Canvas, um, when I design quizzes that have short response answers, it doesn't know, the computer doesn't know how to grade those responses. So it kind of automatically gives those responses that you put in zero points. So you're looking at like greatly depressed uh, scores when you're looking at your scores on Canvas for the quiz right away. Just ignore that for now, right? I will update you when I've actually gone through and graded the quiz and you will, I'll let you know when is the best time to check your grades when those grades will be updated. <clears throat> um, really quick, right, Tuesday night was the back to school night event for parents. Um, I did just wanna point out that the presentation that I did for parents is located on the bottom of the homepage. So if your parents missed it and you wanted to kind of show them what it is that they missed, um, they would click on this, um, excuse me, they would click on this button, right, the back to school night button, You'll, again, it's on the homepage. There's uh, a module that says Krauss back to school night video using Nearpod, right? They would click and watch that video and then uh, they don't have to worry about the alert me part because it's not lo no longer live. Just wanted to bring that to your attention. And again, that'll be um, up for a while. So if your parents don't get to it right away, it'll still be there for them to access it should they ever request it. <clears throat> All right, so let's talk about the internal assessment. So just first the review of the basics, right? You will be selecting a 40 line passage from a text studied within the course centered around a global issue. You'll also be selecting one non, excuse me, one non-literary text to accompany your literary text, right? And explore that same global issue. Uh, a note really quickly about that non-literary text. Most people um, go with an image and that's completely fine. I would just advise that you go with an image that has at least some text on it. That way you can talk about the text in and of itself, but then also the interplay between what the text is saying and its relationship to what is being depicted in the image itself. All right, so um, the commentary uh, itself, right? The 10 minutes of uninterrupted analysis will, be, uh, will come from you and then we get into a five minute question and answer back and forth between the two of us about your comments and analyses. Um, <clears throat> as far as what to bring to the IA, you're gonna bring a 10 bullet point note sheet um, and clean copies of the text that you intend to use for your IA. Uh, as a general note, right, teachers can help guide students you know, via discussions about their outlines, but teachers can't rehearse the actual um, commentary with students, right? So the the easiest way to know this is I can, you know, I'll you will submit an outline to me. I'll be able to give you some feedback about, you know, maybe you might want to consider this or, you know, have you, uh, you know, this line of analysis kind of is open to, interpretation, you know, maybe you might want to expand on this or do or cut back on that because of how much time you have left, etc. Um, I can do that much, but we can't actually have the I'm sorry, the very first time that we actually talk about your 
text and the global issue present in that text, et cetera, has to be on the day of the recording, okay? So the internal assessment and what it will look like this year, right? I had mentioned during the first week of school that we will be doing it via Zoom. <clears throat> Excuse me. There are three things to keep in mind um, about, you know, making that shift from doing it live to doing it via Zoom. Um, you'll need to do a 360 degree all clear, which is basically you taking the camera and kind of spinning it around and showing that, you know, there's nobody else in the room, nobody there to coach you, uh, and that there aren't any other like additional visual cues or visual aids in the room that would give you an unfair advantage. Um, if we were in school, you we would have a room where we can ensure that you would have uh, a quiet environment to work with and there would be no background noise, but that's not the case this year. Um, we're just gonna need to do the best that we can to try and eliminate background noise as much as possible. Um, when I send out the schedule in a couple of days or a week or so, um, it'll have the date and the time on there. And I would strongly suggest that you kind of bring those things, bring that date and time to your parents' attention and kind of stress how important it is that, you know, they don't have, I don't know, a radio or having loud conversations in the background, et cetera. Um, and then you're gonna need to make sure that you show the materials uh, are on a flat surface the entire time for the recording. And that's to ensure that you didn't, you know, show me one thing in your 360 all clear and then swap it out for annotated version uh, afterwards. Um, as mentioned last week, right, we'll have one week of focused prep for the IA, right? So those two days of the week plus the um, virtual check-ins will be dedicated solely to, you know, you working on your IA. Um, you won't be able to rehearse with me, but that doesn't mean that you couldn't work with another student, you know, and kind of do uh, like a mock IA with them as well. And I'll be talking to you about options for doing that later and how to set that up as well. Um, the actual IAs themselves are scheduled to take place on the week of December 7th to the week of December 21st. It takes so long to do those because we're only able to use our class time and then the Wednesdays um, kind of like as the virtual check-in, but we're gonna be using more of that day than just the time allotted for our class. So again, I'm gonna give you the, that schedule that'll let you know when you'll be expected to do your IA. And if it turns out that your IA time conflicts with office hours for another teacher that you would wanna do a virtual check-in, you can kind of talk to that teacher ahead of time and say like, hey, I have this going on. You know, can we meet some other time on Wednesday to talk about whatever it is that you need to talk about? Um, there will be several practices um, before the actual IA, right? They're, and they're all built into the schedule. So please make sure that you look at the syllabus, right? There's no reason to feel like you're gonna be caught unawares or that you won't be prepared. Uh, the text that you'll be able to choose from for your IA this year, you can use Stamped by Ibram X. Kendi. You can use The Things They Carried uh, by Tim O'Brien. You can use A Doll's House by Henrik Ibsen. Or you can use The Awakening by Kate Chopin. I chose these four, or I'm limiting um, your choices to these four because I know the materials and can guide you in your prep for the commentaries around these. But I also chose these four because there isn't enough time for me to read all the materials that you covered with Ms. Savini last year and still be able to provide the support that you will need for these IAs. So if it was, if the circumstances were different, you'd have more choices to choose from, but this is the reality of our situation and this is what we're going with. Okay, so in a minute, I'm gonna have a text box pop up onto the screen that'll give you an opportunity to kind of write down any questions, comments, or concerns that you have about the information that I just shared with you. Um, please feel free to do that now. Okay. Uh, and then that was basically it. So thank you for watching this video. Uh, I just do want to talk about some action items real quick, right? So first, if you haven't done so already, make sure that you're turning your summer reading homework into both turnitin.com and Canvas, right, both locations. 
Um, I think I've, almost everybody finished the syllabus quiz last week, but if you didn't have a chance to finish that, please make sure that you finish and turn that in. And then just as a heads up for our next lesson this week, uh, we'll be covering MLA formatting and you'll, your assignment will be the avoiding plagiarism quiz. And that's it. Again, thank you very much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in class soon.